Today, we're diving into the world of skull and bones to uncover the secrets of obtaining sovereigns. So, grab your compass and let's set sail. Sovereigns are the coveted currency in skull and bones, earned by reaching certain tiers in the seasonal and weekly leaderboards. But how exactly can you get your hands on these shiny treasures? Let's break it down. First things first, you need to reach the illustrious kingpin rank. To achieve this, you'll need to complete main contracts, side contracts, participate in world events, hunt for treasures, and uncover new locations to raise your infamy fast. Once you've ascended to kingpin status, it's time to establish your very own kingpin helm empire. Finish the main contract, a nose for business, to set up your empire and start racking up pieces of eight. Now, it's all about climbing the leaderboard rankings. Split into weekly and seasonal categories, these rankings pit you against other players who have attained the kingpin rank. The more pieces of eight you earn in your helm empire, the higher your tier will be and the more sovereigns you'll receive. But what can you do with these sovereigns, you ask? Well, you can use them to purchase exclusive character and ship cosmetics. Head to the Vanity Atelier for character cosmetics and manage your ship at outposts to access ship cosmetics. And if you're feeling adventurous, pay a visit to Yanada Nara, the manager of Lupont Muet, to explore the Helm's black market. Here, you can exchange your hard-earned pieces of eight and sovereigns for a variety of enticing rewards. And there you have it, mates. Now you're equipped with the knowledge to conquer the high seas and claim your rightful share of sovereigns in skull and bones. Until next time, happy sailing.